This is a short video on how to operate the iX MV7. It's not an installation video, it's a user interface video. So basically if this is pre-configured sitting on your desk and you want to know how to use it, this is the video for you. If you want to dial someone and you know their extension, just tap the screen, uh, hit dial, and we're going to dial 103. It's identified as receptionist. That means it happens to be in your address book and we know who you're calling. So I will hit the call button and when the person on the other side answers the phone, you'll be presented with a picture-in-picture -picture, uh, video so you can actually have a small video conference. Now along this side, you can record um, what's happening on the um, call by just pressing this button. It'll turn red and you'll actually be recording. Uh, you can uh, put it in privacy mode, so when you hit this button, it shuts off both the audio and the video on the system. Uh, this button allows you to stop transmitting uh, the audio to the uh, other side, or you can mute the audio coming from the other side. And this button is to transfer. So let's say you're on a, a call or a door station calls you and they want to talk to someone else. You can literally just choose who you want to send it to and hit the transfer button. And it will transfer to that particular person. I'm going to hang up and uh, then we'll go over some other features and functionality. Uh, if the caller is in the address book, another alternative is hit the address book, call reception, and hit call. Again... The other side will answer, and along this side, you've got controls of brightness, your speaker volume, your microphone volume, and the ringtone. So if you're in a large office and you might not hear the ring, you would just put down a maximum, and the person calls you, it'll go uh, as loud as possible. And then over here, we have a keypad. We are a SIP compatible. Right now, we work with Cisco. So if you make a phone call to the outside world and you're in a phone tree, like press one for service, two for uh, accounting, three for marketing, uh, it allows you to uh, put your uh, um, entries there if you need to. So um, you just press that button, the keypad comes up, and this will send uh, DTMF tones out to the real world. All right, let's see what else we have here. Monitor. You press the monitor button, and uh, let's say I want to monitor the front door. So I just press the front door, hit monitor, and voila, I'm talking to the front door. And again, if I want to unlock it. Door unlocked. I simply press the unlock button. Now, history. Um, you can press the history button and you can see all your incoming calls, any missed calls you might have, your outgoing calls. And uh, we just uh, hit the record button uh, before. So the receptionist, I recorded the call. So I can press here and hit play. And when you hit play, it'll go through. Uh, you can, uh, put it in private and that is um, the recording that we just made. You can set this up to record automatically on every single call. And that's loaded in an SD card that's on the side of the uh, master station. It's a micro SD card. Uh, let's see. Uh, favorites. Um, favorites are blank. So let's create one. Let's uh, imagine that this is a brand new system. It was just placed on your desk. I'm going to go to user settings. And then I want to uh, edit this unit. So I'm going to go edit. And I want to make this uh, 103. So uh, I want to call. And I want to call 103, the reception. So I want it to call. So I'm going to call it um, edit name. Reception. Oops, sorry. Reception 1. You get the idea. <laughs> um, enter. Okay, so it's called Reception 1. And um, I'm going to select this. And there you go. Reception 1. So now if I go back and I hit Favorites, uh, there's your Reception 1. Press it. 
calls over to the reception. Um, so you can make these as needed. And again, uh, favorites. You have eight favorites that you can uh, set up to make your phone uh, as comfortable for you as you'd like. Now, uh, we'll go to status. Uh, status, we have line supervision, which will go out and test the line to make sure the unit is still um, working um, IT-wise. So it'll check the line, make sure that your, your line is still up. Uh, device check, uh, if I do a device check, I'll just do it for you real quick. Um, if you listen really carefully, that's a beep on a door station. So what happens is the speaker sends out a tone. And if the microphone hears it, the unit will come back that it checked OK. Um, we also do something with the button to make sure that that's operational as well. So if there were any problems, this would turn red and any units that would uh, have issues would be listed on this um, list. Now, station information. Uh, this gives you basic uh, information. Our firmware right now is 2.02. .02. Uh, might want to check that periodically with our website to make sure you have the latest and greatest uh, uh, firmware. We will put uh, any new features or uh, bug fixes uh, in the software. So right now we're running 2.02. .02. That's the latest and greatest. And network information. Um, this will give you um, your IP address and your MAC address and such. All right. So... Um, the next one is uh, settings, and this uh, will go over, I'm not going to go over each one of these. Um, basically, I think the most important thing if you're a user is the transfer and the volume. So volume, as you can see, you can do the hands-free volume, the transmit, uh, handset, if you happen to have a handset, and um, the headset jack, and ringtone, etc. Now important uh, would be the transfer. I think that's the most important. So what we're going to do is we're going to go home and as you see your transfer button out of the box is uh, not activated. So if you want to activate the transfer button, so if you go out to lunch or something like that, you want to transfer it to another employee, the way you do that is you go to settings, user, transfer. Uh, it's called absent transfer. You can also do a delay transfer and a schedule transfer for a daily basis. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but absent transfer real quick. Um, you just want to do a new one. And any calls I get that come in from a door station, I want to go to the receptionist. So I'm going to pick 103, reception, press enter. And I'm going to select it, uh, saying that's what I want. And now, when you go back to the home page, transfer is off. I'll call from the door station. It comes in. I can pick up the call, talk to the door station, unlock the door. Door unlocked. Now, if I go to lunch, I can simply go transfer on. Now, if somebody presses the door button, it's ringing on the reception unit. I'll answer it there and unlock the door. Door unlocked. All right, so that's your basic configuration. One other thing I'll go over is the recording capability. Uh, press settings user record now I have it set up to record every single call uh, on a call so when a call comes in it'll uh, record it and um, uh, it'll record every single unit right onto the SD card um, that's uh, about the basics um, again you can see you can um, do uh, station settings you can change the language um, communication, uh, communication timers one minute. You can change that to two, three, four, depending on uh, how you want to use the system. Page, uh, page timer. This is set up so you can only page for 30 seconds. Again, you can change that. Um, call. Um, we have inputs on the back of the master station so you can actually uh, operate them. Uh, when a button is pressed, you can have it uh, do certain things, and this is where you set that up. Um, transfer, we went over. Monitor, uh, tells you how long you can monitor. And if you're going to do a scan monitor, so you're going to be looking at several different cameras, you can set up the dwell time. 
So you hit scan monitor and it'll look at one camera for five seconds and then switch to the next one, etc. etc. And that's where you set that up. Uh, your chime. You can actually do the bell schedule for a school or you can make announcements on a weekly, daily, or uh, da uh, 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 daily basis. Or you can set it up just for one day. It'll do pre recorded tones that are actually on the system. And you can have them triggered at uh, certain times of the day. Again, it's fantastic for um, the bell schedule for a school. Uh, and then you've got your uh, speed dials, which we went over and I had to add them, uh, your volume, and you could do a factory reset. Now, a factory reset doesn't uh, affect the installation. It just takes your personal uh, information that you've put on the phone, like your favorites and such. Uh, and deletes that will not change your IP address or disable the phone in any way um, basically that's uh, that's the basic functionality of the IX MV7 I hope this was helpful thank you oh one last thing I noticed uh, I didn't go over the paging feature right smack in the center so if you want to page you can simply hit the page button and <clears throat> you can uh, call out uh, do an all page or um, when it's installed, you'll have uh, uh, different zones that you can page. I, I believe there's up to 50 different zones. Uh, you would just scroll down. and So if you want to just page the uh, elementary school or uh, grade one, uh, you could do that. Or you want to uh, only page the executives and not the rest of the people in your office. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an all page. And I'm going to do a pre-recorded message saying this building's been placed into lockdown. Uh, you could just uh, make a, a, a page. It doesn't have to be pre-recorded. But in this particular um, sample, I'm going to do uh, an emergency call. No, I'm going to do the uh, facility. Attention. Lockdown. This facility has been placed into lockdown. Attention. Attention. This, facility this facility has been placed, has been placed, placed into, into lockdown. lockdown. Please follow Please all follow lockdown, lockdown procedures, procedures and wait and for the wait all for clear. clear. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was an example of paging with a pre-recorded message. I'll just do a quick page. Um, uh, hello, hello, test, hello. test. This is a test of the paging system. So again, you can page um, to specific zones. You can page pre-recorded messages. Or you could page your own voice going out live. And now that is the basic functionality of uh, the IX MV7. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.